Hello guys, here in this session, we are going to discuss about Android architecture and uh, let's start. Android architecture contains various components to support any Android device that required. Android software contains an open source Linux kernel having collection of numbers of C, C++ libraries, which are exposed through an application framework or services. Among all the components, Linux kernel provides main functionality of the operating system functions to smartphones and Dalvik virtual machines, which is also called as DVM, provide platform for running an Android application. So basically the most important component of uh, Android architecture is Linux kernel. You can say that it's the heart of Android architecture and for running that operating system, DVM, that is Delvic Virtual Machine, provide the platform just like JVM for Java. It's like that. The main components of Android architectures are as follows. Applications, application framework, Android runtime, platform libraries, and Linux kernel. Here you can simply see the Android architecture. At the uppermost layer, we are having application component in this various components are there like home, contacts, camera, gallery, clock, calendar. Bottom side of that, we are having application framework and here we are having activity manager, notification manager, package manager, windows manager, content providers and view systems. Bottom side this, we are having Android runtime in which Dalvik VM and Jigot and core libraries existed and below side that platform libraries are there in which media, graphics, SQLite, OpenGL, SSL and FreeType are the various components. And at the bottommost position, we are having Linux kernel, which is the heart of uh, Android architecture in which we are having Wi-Fi driver, display driver, audio driver, Bluetooth driver, camera driver and USB driver. So these are the various components under uh, uh, Android architecture layer by layer. In the topmost layer, we are having application and the bottommost layer, we are having Linux kernel. Now let's try to understand one by one. Start from the topmost layer, that is application layer. So here you can simply see that in application layer, it is the top layer of the Android architecture. The pre-installed applications like home, contacts, camera, gallery, etc and third party applications downloaded from the Play Store like chat applications, games, etc., will be installed on this layer only. It runs within the Android runtime with the help of the classes and services by the application framework. And what are application framework? Here are some important facts and points over this. Application framework provides several important classes which are used to create an Android application. It provides a generic abstraction for hardware access and also helps in managing the user interface with the application resources. Generally, it provides the services with the help of which we can create a particular class and make the class helpful for the application creation. It includes different types of services, activity manager, notification manager, view systems, package managers, et cetera, which are helpful for the development of our applications according to the prerequisite. Now let's come to the application runtime. Android runtime environment is one of the most important part of the Android. It contains components like call libraries and Delvic virtual machines. Mainly it provides the base for the application framework and powers our application with the help of call libraries. Like JVM, Java virtual machines, I hope you all know, Delvic Virtual Machine is a registered based virtual machine and specially designed and optimized for Android to ensure that a device can run multiple instances efficiently. It depends on the layer Linux kernel for the threading and low level memory management. The core libraries enables us to implement Android applications using the standard Java or Kotlin programming language. Platform libraries. The platform libraries includes various C, C++ core libraries and Java-based libraries such as Media, Graphics, Surface Manager, OpenGL, etc. to provide the support for Android development. Media. 
Under media library, it provides support to play and record in audio and video formats. Surface manager, it is responsible for managing access to the display subsystems. SGL, that is scalable graphic library and OpenGL, both cross language, cross platform application program interface are used for 2D and 3D computer graphics. SQLite provides database support and free type provide font support. WebKit, this open source web browser engines provides all the functionalities to display web content and to simplify page loading. SSL, that is secure socket layer, is security technology to establish an encrypted link between a web server and a web browser. Now let's talk about the most important content, most important component of the Android architecture, that is Linux kernel. Linux kernel is the heart of Android architecture. It manages all available drivers such as display driver, camera driver, Bluetooth drivers, audio drivers, memory drivers, etc., which are required during runtime of any Android device. The Linux kernel will provide an abstraction layer between the device hardware and the other components of the Android architecture. I hope you all know the concept of abstraction is the only things that is necessary to show to the user that is only going to be shown. And it is also responsible for management of memory, power, and devices, etc. The features of Linux kernel are security. The Linux kernel handles the security between the applications and the systems. Memory management. It efficiently handles the memory management, thereby providing the freedom to develop our apps. Process management. It manages the process well, allocates resources to processes whenever they need them. Network stack, it effectively handles the network communication and driver model. It ensures that the application work properly on the devices and hardware manufacturer responsible for building their drivers into the Linux build. So I hope that in this lecture, we have discussed the various components, their usabilities, their functionalities, their workings with important information in it. I hope the video sessions are going to be most useful for you. Further, for more such kind of lectures and updates from our channel, please like us, subscribe us, and stay tuned with us. Thank you so much. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.